Damn, this ain't a let's study heroes in school show anymore, is it? Alright, this is your warning that this video contains season 6 spoilers, particularly episodes 3 and 4. Now, let's talk about it. Hawks in the recent episodes of Boku no Hero Academia has shown to be blurring the lines between the ideas of heroes and villains. I'm going to make sure that we're on the same page and I'm gonna briefly be talking about one, the general Boku no Hero Academia analysis and the ideas they seem to be exploring and two, what I believe is Twice's POV and analysis of his character in relation to the main subject, which is three, what I believe is Hawks' POV based on his past and an analysis of his character. Boku no Hero Academia in general explores how despite the titles of heroes and villains, the heroes in the story are not inherently good and the villains are not inherently evil. And they do this by bringing more and more of the League of Villains backstories into the show, showing us that they are human and increasing our empathy for them. So, in a society that praises certain actions and punishes others, often those that they can't accept with little remorse, it's inevitable that there are people who fall through the cracks. The number of people who have fallen through these cracks has grown with time and it's clear that League of Villains are examples of these people and them forming a group together is what makes them even more powerful. In and due to the society that Boku no Hero Academia creates and the uh, HPSC, practically no one in the show is squeaky clean as can perhaps be reflected in real life. Twice is a mentally ill human being that fell through the cracks of their society and he seems to have good intentions. However, he was also a murderer and a criminal. We really have this empathy for Twice as we get to know him more and he is obviously loving and caring caring for the people around him. His mentality is very much like a hero where he says that he just wants for others to be happy. He recognizes the reality of the Boku no Hero Academia world and the HPSC, that they shun those they don't accept, and he sees this with himself and with his friends. He even seems to be written off as collateral damage to the state. Based off his characterization, Hawks himself probably doesn't think that he's innocent. Instead, he's likely someone that believes the ends justify the means. Hawks' life is kind of suggested to be based on Lionel Messi, who was scouted and signed to Barcelona's football team at a young age. Messi's father was quite sick and they couldn't afford to help him, so the organization helped them due to Messi's incredible football talent. This can be reflected in Hawks' life as the HPSC took care of Tommy and gave her a new life, and can also be seen as helping her mental illness. Her outlook on Hawks changed from asking him why he was born to regretting the way that she treated Hawks in the past. The HPSC did all this because of Hawks' quirk, presumably, because of this likelihood that he could help others with his powerful quirk. Anyway, we can see that Hawks as a child wanted to be good. He wanted to be a hero and he wanted to help others. But due to his upbringing by the HPSC, it seems like he didn't think that he would be anything like that. He might have even thought that he is only really able to affect those around him in a negative way. And then even when he was given a chance to be a hero, quickly growing and training to become the number two hero, he still wasn't like his idols such as Endeavor. Instead, he is simply a tool to do the dirty work, the man that has to do the bad thing in order to allow for other people to be heroes. Hawks likely doesn't see himself as more than a tool for the government, as the HPSC essentially raised Hawks and put him to use in a way that they see fit. They turned an unloved child into a tool. He owes his life to the organization and in return it feels like he has to do the dirty work, possibly in order to kind of pay them back in a way. We hear Hawks talk about how he's a caged bird and that he just wants to fly free, but it feels like he doesn't really understand or believe how true that is to himself when he's talking to Twice about it. Right. So, Hawks was in a tough spot. He's got a lot of this background going on. He's obviously a bit of a traumatized kid that kind of grew up connected to the HPSC. But does that give him the license to kill with impunity? Ultimately, I think I see Hawks as someone who very much embodies the idea of the ends justify the means. This series has really gone to highlight how in the same situation, some people are exempt and others are punished, depending on their status and likability to society. I think this series does make me think of a few questions 
like, is there a society out there that can be created where everybody is accounted for and nobody falls through the cracks? Is there a society where everybody that needs help is taken in or something like that? And I think the answer to this might fall somewhere regarding empathy. You know, if everyone was empathetic to everybody else's situation at all times, then more people would be receiving help. But that's all I have today for the Hawks analysis based on the recent episodes. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>